Ladies and gentlemen, please, in consideration of, interna of international concern for the spread of the pandemic popularly known as coronavirus, which has hit the world with violent forcibly killing hundreds of thousands of people across the globe. The Nigerian government assured, answered the call of the World Health Organization, WHO, when the body considered the related disease as international emergency concern, like any other country across the globe. The Nigerian, the Nigeria sometimes in March 2020 quickly put a place committee known as Presidential Task Force headed by Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Mr. Mr. Pavos. From then on the first, on the task force has been doing what it's supposed to be doing. Based on terms of reference, the government has mandated it to work on. It should, however, be remembered that mainly the committee works on collaboration with other agencies established to also fight the disease. The committee is supposed to order for basic health measures bordering on hygiene, washing of hands, wearing of face masks, social distancing, closure of schools, including tertiary institutions, air food, and a host of other measures. Indeed, the task force still deals mainly with such measures. But some th th come to think of that, with the period under review, which is about nine months period now, not even up to one year, a whooping sum of 3.5 billion naira is said to be has spent. This without funding for research or other related efforts on drugs purchase or the regular research funding of the manufacturers. It should, be also, it should be also noted that more and more funding or expenditure from the various tiers of government and from some international organizations are, are really being substated and awaited in order to pump into the coronavirus project. It seems that the project is becoming serious economic loss, and that it seems also that the Nigerian government is clearly oblivious of the fact that this venture is becoming lucrative for some people. Considering the facts and the figures of the ground, the coronavirus issues and other similar related diseases, which are generally considered pandemic or endemic, as the case may be, are getting more attention in African countries and in Nigeria in, part in, in particular. Because of the international outlook or concern in order to create the political impression to the international community that Nigeria is committed to such a cause. Considering the attention of the Nigeria is given to the issue of COVID-19 is to say the least getting out of proportion of the, to the extent that other important key areas of socioeconomic and development and prosperity are related to the background. Even the challenges being posed by our educational system, economic and agricultural activities, as well as most importantly, security of our country are being severely affected. It appears that the main focus of the federal government is completely shifted to the issue of coronavirus, not to mind in the insecurity issue which is affecting the country for close to decade now. It should be noted that I'm not underplaying the effect of the pandemic across the world in general, and in Nigeria in particular. It may not be logical to say that coronavirus affected is not disturbing, but it's plausible and far to the security of lives and properties of the people of Nigeria do not matter much in comparison to the attention that is being given to the COVID-19. It's everybody's guess that every aspect of human lives or activities will be completely paralyzed. It has given the background, the backdrop of this unprecedented development in the country that I have a course late last year to lead a team of concern and one meaning Nigeria to visit Honorable Speaker at the House of Representatives 
in order to express our deep concern over the security situation of the country and seek for the concern over the payment of compensation to the victim of this of, of this atronics. I presented a document to which to him with contents the needed data of nearly all the victims or the people affected to facilitate of not only Boko Haram, but also the victims of mandatory and kidnapping, which took place across the entire northern part of the country. During the, during the meeting, I had a genuine cause to draw the attention of the honorable speaker that the, there is alarming rule, rail, of killing the destruction of properties and that without adequate security. There will not be peace, and without peace, there will not be any development. We should make it clear to ourselves that as we are addressing this place, complex, there are hundreds of thousands of people who are not living within their ancestral domain. They have left their homes, their farmlands, their livestock for those who are lucky to have some left. Many of their livestock have been stolen, murdered, or rustled away from the, from the bandits or insurgents. It is therefore supposed to be our collective authority to make it to make it known to the government so that more strict measures are put in place to curb the menace of in, of this insecurity is causing to our social existence. We shall be pragmatic in ensuring that the issue is taken was serious and it deserves so that Nigeria will not collapse under our care. A situation where scores of people could be slaughtered like animals in the most barbaric manner certainly calls for some people, especially the government, to do something about it. The recent killing of Bradley is, is naked from from in Borno State certainly calls in sober perfect reflection and the morning. The security of lives and properties is supreme the world over. The government, the government of Nigeria should prepare a place security matter on state emergency, to set an emergency, just like what the World Health Organization did the coronavirus in 2019, when the effect was being felt across the world. It's my advice through the federal, to the federal government should pay more, uh, more attention to the issue of security in the country in the north in particular, instead of emphasizing our and spending a huge sum of money in coronavirus. It is recently projected that more than 400 million naira is needed to buy task, by the task force committee to acquire the newly discovered COVID-19 vaccine. Despite the said 3.5 billion era that was spent on only measures to mitigate the spread of the virus in the country. Should this trend be allowed to continue, we will have situation where the lives and properties of Nigeria are being made less valuable, which is never more disturbing. We should bear in mind that so far only approximately about 2,000 people are said to have died from 2019 to date since the said, the said virus was said, was, was said to be here in Nigeria. The, the threats and the acts of armed bandits, cattle wrestling, kidnapping, and the other forms of arson being perpetrated to our region and in Nigeria in general is to say that at the least taken and unnecessary di dimension to the level to the level that the same society will watch and perhaps wrap up everything in the hands of government. Every one of us as members of the society should bear in mind that while the government does what is supposed to be done, to be doing, we should also be to contribute our own quota towards achieving the desired goals of riding our society to this act of barbarism. We should also dissolve that we could use any legitimate measures through interaction, 
in forms of meetings, workshops, seminars, conferences, and, the other, and, and the, any other means possible to identify areas which most regrettably border, border on security issues and search out the, the government or its agencies for the purpose of generating ideas on how best the government could bring to an end of these atrocities, more ways of achieving the needed. The new result will be created and channeled to the appropriate authority for taking immediate measures. Like Britain, like Britain which has seen the emergencies of another turn of, vi of variant of coronavirus, and it's, it's order to shut the doors for entry in this country in order to curtail the, the spread of this, the Nigerian government should as well also put more measures in place in order to deal with this two phenomenon, coronavirus and insecurity, with a lot of seriousness and the committed they deserve. Another area of great concern which the government has to ensure that it deals with is the issue of subsidizing and inspire great campaign so that in the event that the silk vaccine are, are, are acquired with the sums of, with the last sum of that money, they are not wasted. For example, from traditional points of view and judging from the nature of Nigerians, especially some of our largely illiterate society, they hardly become receptive to new introduced medical reserve or drugs. In the past place, there is a large segment of Nigerian society which does not even believe the disease is safe. It's a, it's a reality, or it exists in the past place. There are some of the issues that the federal government should pay more attention so that the exercise become fruitful and successful. I will further, I will further advise to suggest that the government continues to do the best under circumstances which are essentially between life and days. More resources should require be channeled to the issue of security so that our country will continue to be more and more secured for greater prosperity and the higher sense of belonging and direction within the community of nations. In conclusion, I use this opportunity to appeal to Mr. President as a matter of urgency to show great concern to the issue of security so that Nigerians will begin to have needed peace of mind of hoping to start the experience growth of the property in the country. Thank you and God bless.